Okay, so this is my first time ever recording a video intentionally for YouTube. Oh, uh, well, maybe not first time ever, but definitely this kind of format. And so I'm using Streamlabs. I'm trying to do a reaction to the Legend of Zelda trailer uh, for Tears of the Kingdom because I was live tweeting the Nintendo Direct and I there's just too much to say about the Zelda trailer uh, for me to put it in a couple of tweets. So here we go. We're in a, I guess, watch the tail end of this State Farm commercial first. Oh, what if we have questions about our policy? And what if it's late at night? And what if someone still calls us long for everything? So right off the bat, this is some kind of, in the center of the screen, I guess you can't see my cursor, but uh, again, this is the first time I'm doing a video like this. If people actually watch it, maybe I'll make more. But this creature I've never seen in a Zelda game before, so that's interesting. Uh, I started watching somebody else's analysis video before I decided I would just make my own first. Um, and they thought that this was maybe evolved from a keese, which based on some other stuff later in the video, I could see why they might think that, but I don't know. It doesn't look very keese like to me just because it has bat-esque wings. Um, it looks more like some kind of a lizard creature uh, as far as I can tell. Um, looks like a completely new species to me, which is wild. There's a better shot of it. And see, it's got full arms, legs, tail, and wings. So, like, some kind of a wyvern-type creature. An antenna, I guess? Uh. And then in this shot, there's this green thing in the center that... Not quite sure what that is. There's also these two towers that are lit up, um... I think I got about like 30 seconds into that other video before I decided to make my own. They suggested that these might be the minions making, taking over the Sheikah Towers and putting up spotlights because they've done some kind of construction. Because in a, another shot later on in this trailer, you can see that the shapes of the towers are a little bit different. But to be fair, in, excuse me, in Breath of the Wild, the towers are a couple different shapes, silhouettes, based on, you know, what's happened to them over time. So I think, I don't know, I think it's an interesting theory and it reminds me of the spotlights from Wind Waker in the Forbidden Fortress uh, area, which would be an interesting concept because it, I can imagine it'd be a quite a challenge to try to get up to the top of one of those towers without being caught by one of those spotlights, but... Um, I, I can't be 100% sure that that's actually what's going on. So in this one, we have a new floating island, which we've seen that a couple times. So that calls back to Skyward Sword. Uh, and then there's, if you look at this big island on the left side of the screen and follow it to the point all the way down to the bottom left of the screen there's a square shaped island of some kind with a red glow in the middle I don't know what that is but it's piquing my interest clearly man-made is the point okay and so here we've got what looks like a bokoblin camp I guess there's a Lizalfos in the front, in the left foreground. The little blue orbs on the right side of the screen remind me of the tears from Twilight Princess that you had to collect as the wolf form. So that would be really interesting if that's what the tears of the kingdom are referring to. Um, it also looks like these enemies, the Bacoblins and the Lizalfos have been corrupted in some way, which I think we see evidence of later on in the trailer. This looks like it could be some kind of corrupted version of the Lost Woods or something with that tree-like structure in the background. Mm. 
mining. Rise, That's interesting. Rise, my That's definitely Lake Hylia. Uh, with a bridge over Lake Hylia. It looks like it has the same sort of um, erosion that it had in Breath of the Wild. It also looks like the shot that we have here has Hyrule Castle in the background with a bunch of corruption spewing out from the bottom of it and just a tiny bit of that green light. And then also Death Mountain has some kind of corruption spewing from it. The lake looks fairly full, which in different games it has been more or less full depending on what's going on. Some kind of dragon type creature, Sleep possibly over. that creature that was on the bridge might be the same thing as the creatures that were flying in the beginning. It's on the right side of the bridge. It looks like it's about to breathe fire or it's partly on fire. Sweep over hot. That looks like, I can't, I always confuse the Hateno and uh, Kakariko labs, but that's one of those two labs. Um, I'm gonna guess it's the Kakariko one and it looks like there's a green swirly light possibly over that might be Link's house? I don't know. That could be Link's house. It might be that those green swirly lights are places where you can go up to the sky. That would be interesting. I rule. Eliminate this kingdom. That shield design is new. It reminds me a little bit of the Lanairu uh, areas in... Um, Skyward Sword, uh, and we got the Blood Moon. And her allies. Oh, BTW? Fucking Ganondorf can talk? Uh, also, Abria Iyengar said that this is Matt Mercer speaking, and I, I'm losing my mind over this. I don't know how to feel about it. Mostly good feels, but also just like, holy shit, Matt Mercer, you're in all of the things that I like now. Um, this is wild. Uh, kudos to him, because if I got a voice acting role playing in a Legend of Zelda game, I would lose my damn mind, um, more so than I am right now. Uh, this is exciting. Leave no survivors! Seriously, Ganon, why you hate us so much? This is all, that's all I want to know. What did we do? What, what did we do? Are you mad because you were born into a, uh, group, an ethnic group that only has men once every, like, bajillion years. Are you an incel? Is that what the problem is? Okay, that is gnarly. Okay, we still have the Great Plateau. It looks like that's what that border is. Um, and these, like, red comet things are spewing out possibly from Death Mountain? Or from the moon and corrupting things okay and that looks like it's that's causing the uh, the landmass that Hyrule Castle is on to lift up from the ground so this I think plays into my theory from before that I mean not that you guys would know about it because I mostly only talked about this to my friends but I think that this game might be what happens if Link, I think this is an alternate version of Breath of the Wild. I think this is what happens if Link doesn't go to sleep for a hundred years. I think this is the fight that we get in real time before that hundred years passes. So. In Breath of the Wild, you collect all those memories that are kind of taking place during the time of when they're anticipating uh, the calamity to happen. And then um, I haven't finished it because the controls are weird compared to the controls for the first one. But Hyrule Warriors 2 takes place during that hundred years while Link is asleep. Um, or like leading up to the point where Link is about to go to sleep. Uh, and you get to play as like Mifa and all of these things and you get to see baby Sidon. Um, and so 
I'm thinking this game is kind of like, so we have a split in the timeline around Ocar right, Ocarina causes a split in the timeline and three different outcomes for Ocarina cause three different variations in the timeline. I think Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild represent another split in the timeline uh, for possible things that happen. So we'll see what the actual place of the timeline is, but that's my theory. So here's where you see these creatures, the Bokoblins and Lizalfos and stuff, getting hit with this corruption comets and like becoming these like mega versions of themselves. Pretty creepy. That looked like it was Hyrule Castle. This looks like it's just a big shot of like the Gerudo steps, like the um, S T E P P E S, like the geographical thing called steps. That looks creepy as fuck. Um, that definitely re reminds me of the architecture from the lot, a lot of the uh, shrines and stuff, but it also loosely reminds me of the architecture from the Lanairu Desert in Skyward Sword. I should replay Skyward Sword. It was not my favorite game, but it. I think a lot of the lore... I think this game is going to draw heavily on lore from Skyward Sword and Twilight Princess, personally. So, more of the, like, corrupted Bacoblins, Moblin... <laughs> Now, here we have a Hynax fucking chasing you. That's terrifying. Uh, we still got our... Um, our uh, glider. It looks a little bit different. Um, and the trees in the foreground here are the like petrified trees from... I can't remember the name of the area in Breath of the Wild, but this seems to pretty heavily confirm that it's the same landscape, at least. So, it's at least close in uh in it's in the same era as breath of the wild at the very least um we're not like jumping back huge thousands of years or forward thousands of years this is at least within the same couple of centuries it looks like hyrule field probably something in the background there almost kind of looks like an elephant uh, those wyvern things can carry the goblins, apparently. Um, what are these guys called? Those are the mob. Are the moblins the other ones, or are those the moblins? I don't remember. That thing! I saw that it, the first time I watched this trailer. I was like, what the actual fuck? That thing is terrifying! Cool, but terrifying! <laughs> Okay, that was one of the blighted Ganons. It looks like, but also, what's with all of that stuff that's on it? It's got, like, royal jewelry and shit. Is it a Ganondorf? Is it a Ganon? Is it... Could it be somebody from the royal family? That's obviously Hyrule Castle. That was a statue. Not you. Not you. I can't. Link. That's creepy. Link looking, posing for his album drop. Nice earrings. Uh, looks like he's got a little bit more armor than he did in the original, but he's still wearing the champion's tunic. I'm not sure you'll be able to stop him. So Zelda's talking here and she's saying, I'm not sure you'll be able to stop him. I think in this case, she's referring to Ganondorf or whoever Matt Mercer is voicing. Excuse my hydration. Um, but then, then she has another sentence of dialogue where I think the pronoun changes and it can be a little misleading. 
that's straight up like a direct copy from Skyward Sword of that's exactly the posture that Link has when he's about to summon a Loftwing. Let's go back a second cuz this design down there that oh I wonder if that's where one of the great beasts was buried because that design looks like it's in the center of the frame and it looks kind of like um perhaps again it reminds me a little bit of the Lanairu desert style stuff from Skyward Sword and Yeah, it kind of looks like the elephant, the one that spouts water that's in the, um, the Zoro's Domain area. Okay, this, this gives a little bit more credence to the Keys idea because this one is yellow, which suggests to me that it's an electric version of it. So I guess that could be an evolved Keys or a corrupted Keys or whatever, but it, it would be weird for me... I feel like it's weird to go from a mammal to a lizard, but video game logic. That's fucking cool. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. I want to play this game. And by game, in this case, I'm referring to the mini game of just fucking minecart riding through the, uh, this is either Death Mountain or Gerudo area. Uh, I'm gonna go with Death Mountain because it looks like it's a mine mining situation. Um, again, reminding me of Skyward Sword and the um, or I think it was Twilight Princess that had the gear thing that you use to like go along the sides of walls and stuff. But I do remember. I think Lanaira Desert had a mine cart situation also. <laughs> That is epic. This reminds me of the the ukukus thing, the the sky bird weird looking people, the chickens with human heads, that area, um, which again I think was either in Skyward Sword or Twilight Princess, but I can't remember which. That was um, those stone thingies that are all over uh, Breath of the Wild. That looks like a Sheikah accoutrement. Yeah, but that looks like it's probably Zelda, especially based on the outfit. This tabard thing looks like it's of Sheikah design and like she might be passing it to somebody and she's standing in front of a fountain. And that hand. So to me, I have two theories about this. Either A, that's somebody from the Sheikah tribe. Like, so we know that in the shrines, every single one of the Sheikah people that were in the shrines waiting for Link kind of became this like decrepit form where they their body decayed. But I also feel like that might be Link's hand. Like, you know how in... The seventh Harry Potter book, Dumbledore puts that ring on and then his hand goes all dead-like. I, I feel like that might have happened to Link. And then we see Link's hand right after that. That's part of why it makes me think that. And it's where he's got some kind of glove on. You can't fully see it. Again, something with his hand and he's using it to do the stuff that we would normally be doing with the Sheikah Slate. That thing is fucking cool! I want to play with it! Hot air balloon! Where's Tingle at? Where's my bro, Tingle? Oh, it has some kind of green thing around it, so maybe my theory about the green portals being ways to access the sky, maybe there's something to that. Again, there's some green light associated with being up in the sky. Um, that machine looks cool too. It looks like there's going to be a lot of machines. Something green falling from the sky. 
And that music makes me think of Twilight Princess in particular, the like backwards atonal really interesting tones. Now look at his arm. Watch Link's arm. Yeah, I think it's his Please arm that got wrecked. Lend him your power. Yeah, so I think that hand that Zelda was reaching out towards in the beginning was, or in the middle of the trailer, was Link's hand. And so in this case, so this is the line that I was talking about. She says, please lend him your power. And I think in this case, when she said the other line, it was like, I'm not sure you can defeat him. I think she was, the him in that case was referring to Ganondorf or whatever character it is that Matt Mercer is playing. And then in this case, I think, please lend him your power. She's speaking to somebody else about Link. Uh, but I don't know who she'd be speaking to. Maybe she it's a prayer to one of the goddesses, some kind of something. I don't know. I'm also... Nothing in the trailer particularly makes me think so, but I'm also kind of hoping against hope that for some reason we'll get to play as Zelda in this game. I, I, it's something that I think a lot of us have been craving for a really long time. They're called The Legend of Zelda. Just let us play as Zelda for once, please. May 12th. Anyway. All right, I'm really looking forward to it. Don't play the stupid wizard game. Even though I made a reference, it was just because that was a reference that was easy to uh, visually remember. But I'm looking forward to this game a lot. I'm hoping I'm gonna stream it when I get it. Um, I kind of want to try to get the deluxe edition. I hopefully want to try to get the, the Switch version. My husband and I collect Legend of Zelda stuff. We had a Legend of Zelda cake topper at our wedding that had a Master Sword cake cutter. Um, we have all kinds of Zelda stuff. This is one of my first Zelda items that I got at the Nintendo store in Manhattan, and I've had it for a stupid number of years. Um, but I hope this was interesting to people who like Legend of Zelda, support... Um, brown girls playing video games, and me. Love you. Bye!